How's it going, y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock police cars and also police vehicles such as the riot van and also an undercover police car. All these vehicles for the first time ever in GTA Online, you can store them inside of your garage. So let's get straight into it. In this new Winters DLC, if you go to Warstock Cash and Carry website, you should be able to purchase three police vehicles, which are the Stainer Lee Cruiser here, which is a typical police car in black and white. In order to unlock this police car, you need to scope out Mission Row Police Station as part of the gangbanger robbery, which I'm going to show you later on in this video. Once you unlock the scope out mission, you should be able to unlock the trade price as well for this car. The next police car is an undercover police car, which is the Unmarked Cruiser. In order to unlock this car, you need to survive against a 3 star wanted level or above for 5 minutes. It's pretty easy. You should be able to do this while doing the scope out mission or you can do it in free roam if you want. Just lose the cops when you got 3 star wanted level or above. To unlock the trade price for this car, you need to be completing the gangbanger robbery as a leader. Which is the new robbery in this new winter DLC after you purchase your salvage yard business. And finally is the police riot van. This is a cool vehicle. In order to unlock this police riot van, you need to lose 4 or 5 star wanted level, which is really, really easy. You can do this in free roam. And to unlock the trade price, you need to complete the tactical gear during the gangbanger robbery as a leader. So the gangbanger robbery will be available if you purchase the new business, which is the salvage yard. Alright, so how do you buy the salvage yard business? You can just open up the website and go to Maze Bank Foreclosure. You can see the new business icons are in blue or you can just filter it from the top right here. The cheapest one will be up to the north at Palito Bay as well as Sandy Shores. The closer the location to the city, the more expensive the business will cost you. I think the least expensive is 1.6 million at Palito Bay. And the most expensive one is located near the Arena Wars, which is $2.6 million. Once you purchase the business, you just need to head over there and then there'll be a cutscene with your character and Yusuf Amr, which is the new main character in this Winter DLC and also his cousin Jamal. And once you watch all the cutscene, you want to interact with the computer right at the corner of the building right here. You want to choose the vehicle to rob. I chose the Grody Turismo on my gear and then it will prompt on the high spot there the scope out mission for Mission Row Police Station. Just start the scope out mission and then you'll get a call from Jamal. You need to be going to the Mission Row Police Station. This is quite easy, just go fly up to the rooftop to this chopper here. You want to take out your phone and quickly snap a picture of that chopper and send it to Jamal. If you get the wanted level, it's fine you unlock the unmarked cruiser police car and to get rid of your wanted levels pretty easy you just call Lester and he should be able to clear the wanted levels for you. The second location is right behind the police station I'm going to show you from the door entrance right here. You just wrap around towards the back there'll be a small door. Simply snap a picture and send it to Jamal and you complete the second part. And the final part, you have to go up to the rooftop and take the picture of this filter here. There are some cops there which you guys can kill. Snap the picture for Jamal and you just have to lose the cops and then you gotta go back to your salvage yard and you're done. You've successfully unlocked the police car and now you can go to War Stock Cash and Carry and purchase the police car which will arrive in your garage shortly. So here's another look at your Stainier police car which looks pretty awesome. As I said earlier, this is the first time in GCL Online that you can purchase and store a police car inside of your garage. It's not just one, you can even store the undercover police car as well as the police riot van. A really great move from Rockstar. I'm sure that fans will really really appreciate this change and update. I'm sure Rockstar is going to give us more police cars in the future like the Buffalo STX or the police SUV or the sheriff car. That would be really awesome. The unique thing about the police car is that you can turn on the siren just by pressing the honk. Hey 
if you wanna hold the honky it will play the siren in a different tone like this one also if you're driving near the civilian cars in Los Santos you'll notice that other cars will kind of like slow down or move aside as they know that you're a police officer and they're gonna give way to you which is kind of like a privilege thing to have in GTA Online. I'll be showing you guys the full customization of the police car in my other videos so I'll be leaving them in the comment section below. So if you find this video useful be sure to hit the subscribe for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.